Hi all, Ziv from Elementor here. Today we'll take a closer look at the X and Y anchor point settings for the rotate and scale effects. I'll show you exactly how they work and give you some ideas on how to apply them so you can create cool motion effects like you see here. So let's dive in and see how it works. The X and Y anchor points can be used with the rotate and scale effects. I'll be using this product image to show you how it works. Go to advanced and under motion effects switch scrolling effects to on. I'll start with rotate. Press the pencil to enter its settings. I'll leave it as is and focus on the X and Y anchor point settings that now appear below after having pressed the pencil. The X and Y anchor points are both set to center. Let's check it out. As you can see, the image rotates to the left as if there is a pin in the center of the image widget. The X and Y anchor points determine the axis around which the element rotates. I'll go ahead and set the X anchor point to left and Y to top. When I scroll now, the axis around which the image rotates is the top left corner of the image widget. Now I want it to rotate at the top of the image widget around the center, just like a painting hanging on a nail. So I'll leave the Y anchor point at the top and set the X to the center. Starting to get the hang of it? Cool. Let's change the X anchor point to right. As you can see, the X anchor point determines the horizontal orientation of the axis around which the image rotates. And the Y anchor point sets the vertical orientation. Ok great, now that we understand the concept, let's see how it works on the scale effect. I'll go ahead and hit the reset button. Now let's go to scale. Press the pencil to enter its settings. I'll set the direction to scale up and the speed to negative 5. This way we can still see the image widget sides, so it's easier to follow. I'll leave the viewport settings as is. You can check out a video explaining this concept in a link in the description below. Ok great, so let's check out the X and Y anchor point settings. They're both set to center. The image scales down towards the center of the image widget. I'll change the X anchor point to left and Y to top. Now the image scales down towards the top left corner of the image widget. If I wanted to scale down towards the center of the image widget's right side, I'll set the X anchor point to right and Y to center. Just like we saw with the rotate effect, the X anchor point determines the horizontal orientation of the axis towards which the image scales down, and the Y anchor point sets the vertical orientation. The same applies for all the scale directions. So go ahead and try them out and get the exact motion effect you're looking for. Well, that's it. Now you know how the X and Y anchor point settings for the rotate and scale effects work and can use them to make your designs really stand out. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. See you later, alligator!